Hello everyone, my name is Jason. This is my partner Fred Max and today I'm going to be demonstrating you some techniques um, that can help you in a fight. So the first move is this. Um, this move is for um, defending and attacking at the same time. My right hand could have been on my left hand could have been bent, my right hand could have punched. And the detail is in the feet. So when you punch, you have to make sure you kick it. When you kick, you aim at the calf, the ankle, and the toes. Not at the same time, like choose one and aim. So like for instance, this one. This time, for my feet, I aim at the calf. And by my punch, I can aim at either the face or the chest. This works for both hands. I can do it this way as well. I can do it like the right hand and the left feet. And I can do it the left hand. Um, the, on the left hand and the right feet. And when you practice this, uh, make, uh, you can practice it either stand still to practice, like not moving forward, or you can practice it while moving forward. And then with the, when you push, it's not a strong push, it's just like a little light push or like a little light tap to, put, to get the punch out of your face. Tap and then you can punch. Tap and punch. And when you punch, make sure the punch and the kick are at the same time. So the tap can be the first. The push and the bam at the same time. Push and bam at the same time. And you can connect them when you train. And the second thing is, let me show it this way. Uh, and the second thing I want to say is, when you punch, Remember I said like the right hand and left feet. The, you don't have to do it like that as well. You can do it the the right hand and the right feet. The left hand and left. So there's four ways to do it. Um, right and left. Right hand, left feet. Um, left hand, right feet. Or like left hand, left feet. Right hand, right feet. Um, so for the the same hand and the same feet. This is mostly used for like a bit attacking in a different position. Like he comes at me, I move out of the way, and then punch and kick him. If I'm fighting him head on, then I prefer to use the opposite hand and the opposite feet. So for him, it's nice. So when fighting, he punch me, he's going to amp the face. So make sure it's not a strong push. This, that's not going to work. It's just a light tap and a light push. Out of the way, punch and kick at the same time, and move forward. And then this, you can aim at the toes, you can aim at the ankle or at the calf. I personally like to aim at the calf, because later on I step on his toes as, as well. So like punch out of the way at the same time. This is for the opposite hand and opposite feet. So if I want to move out of the way and then kick, I prefer to use the same hand and same feet. So like, then I can use the, the right hand and the right feet. And this works for this way as well. One. Two, or like out the way, three. So like, okay, so guys, let me demonstrate the move one last time. So like, nice. This is the opposite hand, the opposite leg. This is the same hand and the same leg. This is nice. Okay, and so the second technique I'm going to use is like a windmill to fight like with the arms going in a circle. So I'm gonna demonstrate myself first. So we do is like you're in this position, the guy comes punching at you, first either you either slap his hand away or you hook his hand, and then this hand comes in for the for like a chop. A chop. And then the other hand goes first, a punch in the face. It can either be a straight punch, an uppercut, or a hook. Hold on, I want to demonstrate again. So for instance, he comes punch me. This is the slap. I slap the fist out of the way. But if I want to hook him, I hook. And then this hand goes. So step by step is one, two, three. But when applying this in combat, the first uh, step and the second step must be combined together like one step so like like one step and uh, if you slap the hand away 
then you can aim at the head or at the ear, just grab his ear. But if you hook his hand, make sure when you hook him, do a twist rotation so his arm becomes straight and where you can break his arm. So like, if I hook on, I make sure I need to twist the arm a little bit and make position for me to break his arm and smack it. And then after that, I can just punch him in the face again. So it goes like this. That's, that's what it looks like. And when flying, it's like, like, like that. Okay, so guys, make sure when you grab his hand, when you chop, try to go for, like try to break his elbow. You might not just see, but you will definitely hurt him. But it's better if you break it. So like, like as I hook it, I might not generate enough force to break it, but at least hurt it, and then go for the punch. The important one is the punch, but it's better to break his arm anyway. <laughs> so like if I, if he punches me, this might not have enough force. And if you do it too big, it gives him the chance to uh, react. So just try to break it. If you can't, just don't waste time and go straight for the punch. And the detail one is, after you smack his elbow, make sure you still hold on to his hand. Nice, go this way. So then after I hook and I try to break it, make sure my, my, the hand that I smack his elbow is hold on to his hand so I can punch. Like his, this hand is still, I still have control over his, this hand. So like one, and I still have control over it. So let me do it by myself first. Try to go for the break, but if you fail, do not hesitate to punch him. And um, remember, you can when you go step, you can try to kick into the calf first if you want. So like, you can try to go kick, but I don't recommend because you, you might be off balance when you do it. And if he stands still not moving, you can just step on his feet and do it. And then you punch, you can push him, he's gonna fall. You might break something there. So like, if you move, like, I go in for the elbow, you move out of the way, or like, I wasn't, I didn't hold your hand good enough, you let it slip. Like, for instance, a slip, the punch goes right in. And that's why it's important when you smack, he, if his hand goes away, this one needs to grab on because exactly, he might slip, so he, he's gonna block it, or like, um, so for instance, like, a punch, I missed. Like this hand get out of the way. This hand is it's not gonna go, it's just gonna go straight for the ground. It's gonna go for the punch. So like match from there, like for instance, like you say, so you got out of the way before I can smack you. You see his hand is below, but this hand still grabbed onto him and went for the punch. And don't stop right there. Um, I know the technique has three, but like in real life, uh, when you fight, keep punching. Don't stop. Like that's not one punch is not gonna KO the person. <laughs> so like, I miss, I keep punch, and then I can um, I do other stuff. So remember I said I like to keep punching the person. Sometimes like, that's not gonna work. It's better to simply, after the punch, just to push him out the way. So like, what did I say? I hook, I grab. If I break his arm, I break, and I go for the punch. If he like tries to dog, like tries to block it, then in this position, I'm in a good position to just simply just push it out the way. So like for instance, Mike, like I do, you, and then punch, and then you try, and then this hand, like you, you block it, and I can just simply push you out the way. And then, then, and then after you push, you can just go in for another punch or a kick. So like one, two, out the way, just, just push him out the way. <laughs> so again, like, so, and remember, I said that it's better if you grab off them because it gives you the chance to break. If you didn't grab off, like for instance, you smacked it out the way. Smack it out the way, just the, I, the smack is, went, go straight for the head. Go straight for the head and then you can do an uppercut or, or a fist. Yeah, and, and if he blocks, hook it down and then go for the fist again. <laughs> this is madness. Like, um, you block, block, hook down, go for the fist again. And this hand, because I said I, I grabbed onto it, I, I'm still like keeping control of this hand. This hand's not gonna block. So like one, two, block, and then one a punch again, and then grab him in the, in the knee, the elbow. You can all decide yourself. But like the basic is this: you block, punch again, and then 
I can, I'm still in control. I can step on his feet and push it, or I can just kick in the calf again. It's all up to you to decide. And always keep a good habit of grabbing the opponent's hand, like to keep it in your control. Like, we're just one, two, three, and just simply push you out the way. Okay, um, guys, to sum this up, I'm going to go through the techniques again. So let, I'm going to demonstrate it myself first. Last time, so um, again, this is the same hand and the same feet. And yeah, remember, when you punch, your arms shouldn't be straight, your body shouldn't be straight. It should be all tucked in a little, the arm bended, so like, like, like that. This is gonna break your own arm. So everything tucked in a little bit. Make sure the table is tucked in, that your butt shouldn't be pointing out, the, the table should be tucked in. So, okay, so let me demonstrate um, the same, so my hand in the same leg. One, two, and the opposite hand in the opposite leg. One, two. So Max, can we demonstrate this last time? Um, one, this is the same hand in the same leg. Two, this is the opposite hand in the opposite leg. This way as well. Same hand, same leg. Same hand, different leg. And then it's just the windmill one. So remember the windmill. You can either snipe the hand out the way, like whip it out the way, or grab. But like when you smack it, you can still grab onto it when you smack. Like you can still, it's just. Just, a, just keep. It's just a good idea to do, just to keep hold of the opponent's hand. So like, I can smack and grab at the same time. And when when you grab it, remember to do the twist motion where you, you can make an arm and elbow straight and go straight for the hack and try to break it, and then go for the punch. And if he does, he blocks it. Punch him again and push him at the same time. And depending on how badly you want to hurt him, you want to hurt him bad. Step on his feet when you push and punch, and when he falls, he's gonna break his ankle. He's gonna score. So like, for instance, like what? Step on the feet and push at the same time. He's gonna, like I said, break. And the second one is when you fail to grab his hand, you can, and then you fail to you chop his elbow. Go straight for the head, and then just punch again, and then he blocks it and just do the same thing. So it's just like different ways. So the sun is up. I'm gonna do this on my own again. One, two, and then there's the three, the four, and it's this, and it's this. Okay, um, everyone. Thank you for watching.